Hi everybody, it's Claire here. I just thought I'd do a quick video before sending off um, some of my char CHA projects over to America. And uh, this is an easel album that I've made out of the new Secret Garden collection. So it's not easy to hold up, but um, really pretty collection this one. Lots and lots of flowers in it and uh, some really pretty images. So this is the front page, I don't know if you can see. I've cut apart two pieces of paper. Um, I've used, I'm, I'm completely addicted to the Pee Wee art glitter pots and uh, I've used lots of glitter on this, just very subtly. And uh, some of the Staples collections from Graphic 45 as well, just to highlight um, some of the flowers. So this one's got the daisies highlighted and the little birds um, I've covered in glossy accents. I've slightly raised up the fence and uh, waved it. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, added a bow at the bottom. There is a bow that runs across the paper but I've added um, another bow and some ribbon and just to highlight that page. So that was the, the first page. I've kept it quite simple. We were sent the papers but not the chipboard elements and stickers. So everything in here is just made from the 12 by 12 papers. And then I've used some craft card for some of the sort of photo mats and um, spots for journaling. So this is one of the Sizzix framelits. And again, I've put some, I don't know if you can see, but there is some glitter on that. Um, this one's got stickles around it, um, Stardust stickles. And then I've just highlighted the sundial here. And then there's a place for a photograph to go on the page there. You can see I'm trying to get the light right. Um, this one, I've just slightly cut apart the image here, put a belly band across um, and added some flowers and a little staples key and again place for a photo mat. This one I've used the lavender papers and the daisies and there's a tag in there that pulls out. I've just made a pocket out of the paper and then just raise the word daisy up on pop dots. So again, quite simple, um, all fitting onto the 8x8 easel album. This page was very green, got a round um, spot for a photo mat. I've used one of the staple keyholes here and one of the staples keys and then a Martha Stewart punch just to punch out that border there. And then at the bottom here, I've just raised the stamp up on some foam dots. There's lots of pinks and blues in the collection. So again, quite simple. I've used one of the cutter parts and then just raised some flowers up on the border there. And then put some glitter on and um, cut out the key and put some glossy accents on the key there. This little page, very blue, um, I've used an imagin Imaginarium, yes I think that's how you say it, um, one of Jane on the design team, one of her chipboard pieces, added a little key down here and again a room for a photo, small photo up here and then I've put glitter on the secret garden just to bling that up, just turn it over. And then working back through the album, I love this page, I think this one's my favourite, Lavender. Um, there's a pocket here with two tags in. Those are just craft card tags, I've kept them plain on the back. And I've used some vintage seam binding here and coloured it with the forest moss, I think. And then um, the violets, I've put a little bit of the Stardust stickles on. And then made a pocket from one of the cutter parts. But I really like the paper, that background paper. Oh, another Sizzix framelit 
here for the photo mat. This page, all lily of the valley, I love lily of the valley, and I could almost smell it as I was cutting the page apart, or putting the page together, I should say. Um, again, I've used two of the cut aparts, one of the borders here, I've just staggered the border, and then I've used some coordinations cardstock and just sanded that over one of the Tim Holtz um, embossing folders just to get that um, framed image on it and then used a Stampin' Up! tab punch at the top for the tab. So again I've made a pocket here out of the paper and then just put a stamp at the top there and that's got some uh, iridescent glitter on the lily of the valley. This one, another blue and pink page. I've cut one of the cutter parts apart and just staggered the centre across the belly band and then just put a small space for a photo mat up there. But I've tried to keep the pages simple. Um, the papers are just beautiful. I didn't want to overcomplicate them. And also, the album becomes very um, thick if you put too much on the pages. Another green page here, the roses, and again I've done some fussy cutting, staggered one of the cutter parts across the belly band and then just used one of the stamps and um, just some of the background images from the cream paper. And then I've used the coordinations paper again and just distressed that with um, a nail file and then just put a tab on the top there, so room for a photo in that one. This one, really, really pretty. Again, I've cut the centre out of the um, cut apart and then um, cut out some elements from the papers and then put glossy accents on part of the ribbon just to highlight that. And then there's a plain tag in here, again, with some vintage seam binding. And I've uh, dyed that with, I think, weathered wood. But I might be wrong. I think weathered wood. So I love that page. And then another purple one. I think I like the purples best. Um, again, the cutter parts, I've just staggered them. That one I've cut in half. I've put some um, petal loo flowers on here, and the violets. And then the photo mat, again, I've distressed over one of the Tim Holtz embossing folders and put um, just a tab at the top, pull it in and out with, doesn't want to go back in, never mind. And then I've put some diamond, not diamond dust, stardust, stickles in the top corner there. And that's it. That is the back of the album. So have fun if you make one of these yourself. They're really nice to make, really easy, um, the papers are gorgeous, and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.